Hey gang, this is Corey from YARC West. And in today's video, we're gonna be doing something a little different. We're gonna be taking a look at Highboxing's new-ish short course truck, the 3100A, 1 14th scale short course truck. It's mainly a basher. If you could find a local track that has a 114 class, then you could probably race it. it comes in this interesting little garage. All right, so, so let's have a look. Comes with lights. Has a 3800 brushless KV motor. Is a separate receiver and ESC. So you can upgrade it, I guess, if you want. Kind of small battery tray has this little nub here you can take this out then fit a shorty pack in there probably a 2200 milliamp hour tires seem a little small to me i'm not sure suspension looks good you have wishbone suspension in the front solid rear axle which is much more like a trophy truck as opposed to an actual short course truck all the RC short course trucks I've seen have wishbone front and rear. This claims 35 miles an hour out of the box on 2S. So let's quickly look at what they include. So they give you two polymer lithium ion batteries. Make of that what you will. Extra body clips, which is always nice. You can put these on anything too, which is great. They give you spare axle hexes metal spare, spare wheel nuts you have a jumper screwdriver wheel wrench some spare parts you have um, dog bone adjustable tie rod collar axle pins and two chargers comes with a sticker sheet some of these i'll probably put on some of them i won't and a standard hbx manual Gives you exploded views. As well as part list for replacements. Now, I can't help but kind of want to compare this to the Arma Setin 4x2 brush. Mainly because it's coming in at the same price of 170 US. Difference is, obviously, this is brushless when the 4x2 is brushed. Two-wheel drive. This one's four-wheel drive. You have lock diffs in the rear, open in the front. While the this comes with two batteries, charger, and the Sentin that for 170 does not come with a battery and a charger, but it's 110. It's upgradable to four by two. You can put a brushless motor in it. And if you actually ever wanted to race it on a track, proper track, you can. All right, so I'm gonna get this packed up. I'm gonna get the Arma Sentin 4x2 packed up. And I'm also gonna take the Team Associated SC Pro 4 brushed. And we're gonna hit the track, test them out.
This thing is super squirrely. Yeah, I can't make that jump. It just it's really squirrely. Dennis's twenty year old RC ten.
you can think of, I drove on that car like a long time. And just because it only had a little bit more mass. And that mass, when it hits something, when you go up into the bigger one, you know, and stuff like that, they have a huge battery. Ah, there goes my clean lap. Trying to knock it over for you. <laughs> it's a little too much throttle. On 3S, I bet I can make that. <laughs> uh. all right so quick thoughts it's pretty squirrely the back end likes to kick out quite a lot it drives more like a two-wheel drive than a four-wheel drive it flips over a lot and it's pretty hard to self ride so you have to do the walk of shame constantly to turn it over the suspension on that surface may not have been ideal and that's a hard dirt surface. I'm gonna try it out in softer dirt and see if it handles a little better. It also takes a little while to get the hang of how to actually drive it. Some good things about it is it's really quick. It jumps pretty well. Seems like it's a pretty okay basher for smaller areas, but it seems to me like with a model like this, you kind of want to race it more than just bash it around. I think if space isn't an issue for you, I'd save up just a little bit more and get the Arma Sentin RTR that comes with the battery and charger or for the same price get that one if you already have an IC3 battery and it's something to charge it with. None of those things make it not fun to drive. It definitely is fun to drive. I had a blast with it. Like I said, gonna try it out in softer dirt, see if that really makes a difference. Now if anyone is interested in seeing the actual full race footage, we did a couple races, comment down below and I'll put them up separately from this video. All right, thanks for watching.